what is feminism? And I, and I'm sure many people will find so many different results as to what is feminism. Not only do we find things, you know, from years back, but we also find artwork, newspaper articles, photography, videos, advertisement, and it's just this this sea of information and of different perspectives as to what feminism is and I think it gets a bit overwhelming. I get overwhelmed. I decided to look at it in a different way. My grandmothers Gladys and Elcida, you know, their stories and you know the memories that I've had with them has shaped the definition of feminism to me. Strong outspoken and passionate woman. She always wanted to help as much as she could. She taught me that we need to look beyond barriers and meet people and exchange stories and that's what makes us who we are. You know, that's what shapes our identity. She's one of the strongest women that I have ever known in my life and she's always said to be independent and to be to be strong-willed and to never give up and to always be there to help others and to listen to others and to work hard to pave a path for myself as a woman. My grandmothers, they're two of the people that helped me see the importance of stories. You know, I think of, you know, when we're talking about the word feminism, is that we allow you know, us women and, you know, other people, we allow ourselves to put ourselves in different boxes, you know. And so when we're doing that, we're just creating, you know, all these barriers. One day when we break these boxes that we're able to, you know, just create, you know, just a wave of, of conversation and empowerment and we'll create change not only for our generation but future generations.